Generally speaking, there's two opinions, either yes, they sting you, they're pretty dangerous, and or they put you to sleep because they've been described as the living lava lamp of the ocean. And, and certainly, yeah, if you spend enough time looking at them, they can mesmerize you, but they're very identifiable. Uh, you watch the kids, you watch the people coming up, they know exactly what they're looking at. However, even though they are simple in terms of their form, uh, they're very, they're fairly complicated. There's a lot of issues that have arisen recently about jellyfish, jellyfish blooms, why are they showing up, why are there thousands of jellies where before there was only a few. And so we want to look at those uh, issues, address some of those issues, and yeah, display some uh, jellyfish species that we've never had on display before. There's certainly species that I've never seen before, so working here it's, it's fun to be able to see some of the new species as well, and introduce them to the world here at the aquarium. Locally, if you've ever been swimming and found a jellyfish, that's usually the first reaction. You see a jellyfish, let's get out of here, I'm done. However, locally, there's only a few species that you need to potentially worry about. And even those species, it's, it's just, it's a sting. I mean, it happens. Uh, globally, that's, that's what makes a jellyfish a jellyfish, is the fact that yes, they do have stinging cells, and yes, they can sting. However, of all the species of jellyfish, there's only a few that are confirmed to be, have been fatal. Uh, and it's, it's, it's really small ones, box jellyfish mostly, and uh, they're, they're found primarily in Australia. So you don't need to worry about them up here in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, most of ours are fairly harmless. Well, we usually always have jellyfish on display, at least a few different species, because yeah, they're an identifiable species, they're, they're fascinating animals, but the uh, promotion in its current form will be running until November. I should have a final date. I think it's November 12th, November 16th, somewhere in that range there, first or second week in November. I'd be lying if I said I knew where everything was and have seen everything myself because uh, it's, it's a grand reveal the morning of. Everything's been covered up with uh, curtains and pipe and drape and, and so we want to make it a surprise for everyone and uh, even for the staff as well. It takes us a while to walk around. Um, there's usually a lot of uh, printed material, a lot of signage, a lot of cool facts that we've got. Okay, yes, I remember this particular fact. I remember seeing that before. And so it takes us a while as well just to make sure we know everything that's on display as well. But in terms of uh, the crowds that are walking, and especially the kids, um, it, it's, it's great to watch them come up. And usually means we have to clean the bottom of the exhibits a few times a day because their faces and their hands are pressed up against the, uh, the glass. But that's, that's part of the fun of working here. Thank you.